Jersey Greens. Welcome. Thank you guys so much for tuning back in today. And as you can see from the title, this is a tag video. And I hope you guys like this because I love doing tags. Now, I don't really um, do tag videos too much on my channel anymore. I don't post it on my intro. It's not in my intro, so, but I will do them from time to tag. So, you know, if you feel like you want to tag me like I've already been tagged by Allie, then go ahead and do it. Now, this tag is called New Beginnings Spring Tag, and there are a lot of questions. Ooh, wee, but I love it because I love answering questions. It's so exciting. Now, her channel is At Home with Allie, and I'll put her link to her channel in my description box, so please check out her channel. She has a wonderful channel, and she also did the tag as well. So thank you, Allie, so much for tagging me and giving me that wonderful shout out. When I heard it, I was so touched. I was like, ah! <laughs> I was shocked when you when you named me as one of your favorite um, YouTube channels. I was very surprised because I didn't think that anybody would consider me their favorite, one of their favorites. But thank you, I appreciate it so much. I mean, that really touched my heart. Thank you so much. Now, on with the tag. And I gotta put on my glasses, of course. You know how that is. These cheap glasses. <laughs> okay, yes. Okay, number one. Now, I'm not gonna say number. I'm just gonna say next question, because there's like 20, 20, Basically 25 questions, but there's a bonus question, so there's 26. Okay, one, what is your quote, what is your quote or scripture that you live your life by? What is one quote or scripture that you live your life by? Um, Mark 11, 24. I live my life by a lot of them, Psalms 91. Uh, Psalm 103 now I'm not gonna quote them you guys can look it up in the Bible yourself and see what they say but I live by so many scriptures you guys I can't think of all of them just basically the whole Bible really basically the whole Bible but those are a few of my favorites um, I know I have a few more but I can't think of them this brain is like ah <laughs> I've got good lighting so I can, I'm gonna try to look at these questions because I printed them for my printer. So let's see if I can do it without putting on my glasses and they're in bold. So thank you, Allie, for typing them in bold because I copied and pasted them and then printed it. Okay, what are two of your pet peeves? Ooh, well, one of them, I can't stand when you're in the doctor's office and you're talking. Doctors are notorious for cutting you off. I can't stand that. One time I was talking and trying to explain to him, you know, what he was asking me. This was a long time ago. And I wasn't going on and on and on and on, but he just abrupt, abruptly just interrupted me and I just stopped. And I'm like this, I'm looking at him like this. as if to say, are you finished? And then when he asked me the question, he asked me another question and I just looked at him. <laughs> I wasn't pleased, okay? And he says, did you understand my question? I said, are you finished now? I said, because I was talking before you asked me the question and you just rudely interrupted me. So now I'm gonna finish what I stated earlier and then, then I'll answer your question because I don't want you interrupting me. So I was very ticked off. Yeah, so that's a pet peeve of mine. Ooh, uh, let's see if I can think of another one. Okay, now I've got to add another pet peeve. I just got to, I got to, I got to. I think the question said two, but I'm sorry, I got to add three. I know this might be the same for all of you too. Don't you hate it when you are bagging out of a spot or anywhere and people just walk on by or a car will fly. Ooh, I tell you, that irritates the mess out of me. I'm like, 
if it's a pedestrian, I'm like, I don't think you want to be hit today, do you? But you know, we have to stop anyway. We have to stop because like they say, the pedestrians have the right of way. Hmm. I don't agree with that statement, but it is what it is. But I can't stand when someone does that. It just, it, it, it irks you so much. That's a pet peeve of mine. So I just had to add that one because you'd be so angry. It's like, you know, if, if looks to kill, <laughs> my looks would definitely kill, okay? All right. <laughs> Okay, next one. What are your top three styles of interior design? Well, I love glam. I love bling. And um, glam, bling, and what was the other one? You know, I like a lot of styles. I was told that my style, how I decorate is pretty much eclectic. And I, I agree it is. I like different styles. I like different types of things. Now, in my home presently, and the home tours that I've showed, I'm not really showing you guys what I truly, truly, really like because I don't have access to that. You know, those type of uh, furniture pieces and things like that as of yet. It's just not in the budget, okay? But um, one day, I pray that one day you guys will get a chance to see what I really, really like. I like a lot of glam. I'm a very glamorous person. I love beautiful things, and I'm just not able to buy those things right now, you know, um, and have everything matchy-matchy and, and just color-coordinated beautifully. You guys haven't seen that in me yet because I don't have, <clears throat> excuse me, I don't have that type of furniture, that type of decor. But with what I have, I just do what I can with what I have, okay? Some people, you know, their budgets, hey, they got it going on. They can buy this and that and that, but I'm not able to do that right now as I'm on a budget, okay? So, and I don't have a problem saying that. It's just the way it is. But I love me anything glamorous, elegant, bling. Now, everything does not have to have bling in it. But um, I like traditional uh, decor as well. So, and probably some other things. Now, a very few, very farmhouse type things. I'm not a farmhouse person. Don't think I am. But I do, and I'm pretty sure I have a few pieces in here that are farmhouse. If it's something I like, and if it happens to be outside of what I really design with, I'll, I'll grab it. That's what they call eclectic. You know, you get, you like different things. So I just like what I like. What can I say? Okay, moving on. What is your guilty pleasure for spring? Pretty much nothing, really. I mean, I don't really like spring except for the fact that it gets, uh, it stays uh, light longer, you know, the days are longer. That's pretty much what I like. But it's my guilty pleasure, probably to go eat some ice cream when I shouldn't eat ice cream. Now, I don't eat it often, very seldom do I eat it, but I would have to say spring would start it off. <laughs> especially in the summer, get some ice cream, but not too much, once in a blue moon, because I'm trying to shed, I, I gotta shed this weight. Okay, that's another topic for another day. <laughs> All right, and how, how would you, how would your BFF describe you? Well, if she was still alive, and boy, I miss her so much, um, she would probably say, and this is her words, not my words. I'm not conceited. I'm just telling you what I think she would say because I know her. She would probably say that I am a wonderful friend, loving friend, and a caring friend. And she may say other things. Um, she can depend on me. Um, I'm very um, loyal as a friend. She would probably say that she can count on me. She can trust me with her life. You know, things like that, so. All right. Um, next. What are your favorite candles? 
Bath and Body Works that is the number one favorite candles. Those candles smell so darn good and they're just too expensive. <laughs> I mean, I like to get them when they're on sale, but $14 to me is not a sale. I mean, I don't buy candles that cost that much. That's just too much money, you know, for one candle. Ooh, that's too much. But Bath and Body Works, um, your favorite florals and or decor. I like all florals. Anything pretty, bright, colorful, uh, just beautiful florals. I, um, let me see. I like um, roses. Roses. I like hydrate, hydrangeas. I like... Um, Oh boy. I like daisies. I like some some of the sunflowers. Uh, just a lot of them. Just if they're beautiful, I like them. And favorite decor. Well, I've already mentioned that. Favorite decor is mirrored pieces. I love mirrored, but then it's a lot of cleaning too. But I like it. It's beautiful. Anything sparkly, I, I love um, gold pieces. I love um, things that have largeness to it. I don't know if that makes any sense. I'm looking at my my star light picture. Things that are kind of like, I don't know if you call it abstract. I'm not sure if that's the phrase, but it's big and strikes out at you, whatever that's called. Just beautiful decor. That's all I could say. Okay, next, what is a win to celebrate this spring? I'm not quite understanding what that was. Allie, I was listening to your answer and I kind of forgot what you said on that one. What is a win to celebrate this spring? Well, I'm just gonna say what I feel it means, okay? A win to celebrate this spring for me, um, well, my daughter's birthday is in April and she just had it. So it was the day I had my surgery, April 4th. And um, I'm working on my weight loss journey. And I know I have lost some pounds. I just don't know how much because I feel it and I see it. And um, so that's, that's, that's a win for me because I'm determined to keep going. I'm determined to get this mess off. I've got to get it off. I just say that 2024 is my year, my year of victory from this weight. I've said it numerous, numerous a time, decade after decade after decade, but I feel that 2024 is my year and I'm pushing forward. I'm being strong at it and I got to do it. I got to do it in Jesus name and I shall do it. So that's what I call win for, win to celebrate spring. What is your favorite treat for spring? Mm, ice cream, like I mentioned before. Um, I don't really have a favorite treat. It's whatever I feel like I want at the time. So, but pretty much ice cream. I guess you could say that. I don't eat that very often though, but can't afford to anyway. All right, next, what is your well, I said that one, yeah. What do you enjoy doing in your free time? Free time watching YouTube videos. I love to, um, me and hubby enjoy talking. I love laughing. You know, we love to laugh together. So when we're talking and being silly and thinking of funny things, it's just, I love laughing. Laughing, laughing, did you hear that? Laughing. Um, but I enjoy doing my YouTube videos. I enjoy walking around the house and deciding, okay, I'm going to do something for today. I'm going to film something. And when I decorate, it makes me happy. So I'm just going to say those two. I can't think of anything right now else to say but that. But I know there's more. There's got to be more. Okay. Let me see. What else? What else? What else? I'm doing good without my glasses because Allie typed this in big, bold, large letters. Thank you, sis. Ooh, this is so much better. I don't have to <laughs> squinch up to see the, the words. Um, what, okay, I did that one. 
what are you no what are your two least favorite tasks chores to do two least cleaning the bathrooms yuck <laughs> i mean i don't let mine get tremendously nasty um hubby does one part of it and i do the other but bathroom would have to be on t on top number one I just don't like doing bathrooms. So that's my least favorite task or chore to do. Um, my second one is in the beginning of the month where you have to go to the bank, take care of your business, pay your bills. Thank God you have money coming in to do those things. I'm not complaining about it. I just leading up to it and you know you got to get out there and go to the bank and do all this, get get this going, get this going, pay this, pay that. That's something I don't like to do. And when it's over, I'm like, now I can sit back and relax. I'm serious, that's how I feel. I just feel like, like tension, you know, okay, it's time to do this, it's time to do that. So what is your favorite season and why? My favorite season is fall and winter. The reason is because it's nice and cold. Of course, the leaves are starting to fall and the crisp air, I love that. In the winter, you know, it's just, you breathe better. I breathe better. My skin feels better. I sleep better. I'm serious. Me and my husband both, we love fall and winter because you breathe better. It's just wonderful. Now, I know a lot of you don't like it, especially, you know, in your different states. You know, the, the winter back there is very brutal. Out here in California, where I live, I live in the high desert, so we don't get a whole lot of rain. We get rain, but we don't get it where it's brutal. I mean, it can be kind of tough. We do get winter storms. We do get some flooding but overall it's still not brutal like some of yours you know but and we need more rain and we just had rain sunday so and this is monday when i'm filming this video but um yeah i love fall and winter okay next oh and one thing about the season on spring there's one thing about spring i like and the only thing about spring is that the days are longer. That's it. I do not like anything else about spring and I can't stand summer. Okay, I'm gonna take a sip of this coffee. You know, I forgot that I was drinking coffee, guys. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, so good. I mean, it feels good going down. <laughs> mm, hmm What is your favorite holiday and why? My favorite holiday is Christmas. Christmas, the birth of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Now, I'm not saying he was born on Christmas, but we celebrate Christmas in that month because of him. Also, um, it's just, you know, you're happier. It just seems like everybody is happy cheerful i mean to me christmas is the most magical and wonderful time of the year it, it truly is everybody seems to be in a better mood isn't that something i mean you just feel good you give i mean I, I give throughout the year you know strategically give to people you know homeless people when i can and organizations at my church you know but during christmas time we do this big shoe box you know the church will give us big shoe boxes and you go go to dollar tree and fill it up with different small items for if, if it's a girl you put all girl stuff it's a boy you put all boy things in there and that's fun so it's a time of giving and the beautiful christmas colors the bright christmas lights and just the beautifulness of christmas so that's why I love, that's some reasons why I love Christmas. I love it. I love it. Okay, what is your favorite color? Well, I don't have just one favorite color, but one of my favorite colors. Oh boy, they're talking about measles. Ugh, on the news. Sorry about that. Um, my favorite color or colors, I should say, pink. 
I'm a pink girl. I love pink and I love gold. So pink, gold, I love lavender, I love soft pastel colors, basically. I love mint green, like my nails here. Uh, anything light and bright, turquoise, um, lilac, you know, I like black. You know, not my favorite though, but I like it. Okay, you, you get the gist of what I'm saying. Um, let me see, what else? Okay, what scares you about aging? Well, I'm not really scared about it. It doesn't scare me, but it makes me feel uneasy because, you know, as we age, different things happen to our bodies and they're just not pleasant. Like I was looking at my face real close. Now you guys cannot, you can't see what I, what I would see if I look in the mirror by looking at the screen. You cannot see it. But when I look at myself as I have a mirror over here, I just see all the the, the, the lines and sometimes the turkey neck, sometimes at certain moments, I'm like, ugh, this is so ugly. You know, it, you know, I don't know. I, I'm not scared of it, but it just makes me feel sad, you know? <laughs> I don't know, how will I be when I, in 10, 15 more years, you know, not being able to move around as much you know you wonder about those things you know i'm not afraid of it it doesn't scare me but it just makes me feel uneasy about it so if you are a creator i mean if you are a content creator what is your favorite type of video to make my favorite type of video i have two Number one, doing vlogs. I love vlogging, I love talking like I'm doing now, answering questions, doing these tags, um, being out and about, going places and doing things, showing you. I don't do a whole lot of it, but when I do, when I can, uh, I love doing that, it's fun. And home decor, really. I love home decor. I, I love showing, especially when I go to the store and I'm able to buy some home decor, come back and, and decorate with it and share you got, share with you, um, you know, how I display it. I love doing that. When I'm on a row at home with decorating, it just makes me feel happy. And my husband will say, well, wow, you're all into it. Yeah, because it just makes me feel so happy. It calms me down. I just love, love decorating, I really do. What type of shopper are you? A go-getter? <laughs> you are on a mission to get your item and get out quickly. Um, let's see. I think that's, yeah. What type of shopper am I? I'm pretty much, like this says, I'm on a mission to get what I want, yes, especially if they have a sale. If they have a sale and I know I've got money, I'm gone. I'm up early in the morning, pew, <laughs> out the door, get there early <laughs> and be one of the first in line to get what I want. I love, I, I've got to get a, um, a bargain, a good bargain. But uh, do I like to get out quickly? Well, it depends on where I'm shopping. If it's a chaotic situation, then yes. If I don't have a lot of money to shop, then yeah, I want to hurry and get out and, and get, you know, get in and get out quickly. But if I've got some good moolah and I want to enjoy myself, then I'll take my time and shop. Thank you. Ugh. Oh, ah, shoot. Thank you, baby. Yeah, I know. Ah, did you stir it? Because I don't see that thing. I'll take the spoon. Yeah. Sorry guys, hubby was warming up my coffee for me because when it gets warm, mm -mm, it's not good. So I'm gonna get back with you in just a second. Thank you. Like I said, if I've got a lot of money, yeah, I typically can't shop all day. I'm serious. If I got, I mean, a lot. Ooh, yeah, honey. I'll tell my husband, bye. I'll see you sometime tonight. <laughs> and he knows it too. 
I've got a lot of money. Let's see if some thousands came my way. Oh yeah, I'm out the door. You won't see me for a while. <laughs> Come back with all these bags. Hauling them in. Babe, I need your help. <laughs> okay. Now that is so true. <laughs> Okay, next one. What type of grocery shopper are you? Do you stick to your list? Do you put everything in the cart? Are you a couponer, bargain hunter, or hungry shopper? Well, number one, I'm not a hungry shopper. I do not go shopping hungry. Now, that's a rule. You should never go to the store shop. I mean, ah, you should never go grocery shopping hungry. That's, that's the worst thing you can ever do because what you're going to do, your appetite's going to see everything and you're going to be grabbing things that's unhealthy. Soon your basket will be full of junk. <laughs> but yes, I have a list. I have it on, on my phone in my notes. I list it as, let's say I'm going shopping today, which I am after I do this video. So on my list, in my notes on my phone, I'll say Monday's shopping. Um, we're not going to be in there extremely long, but whatever, however length of time we're going to be in there. And then I list what I need to get, blah, 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 like lettuce. I need some more lettuce, you know. I list it and I go through every list. After that, you know, our phones have those emojis, so I will take the check mark, the green one, when I'm done, not in the store, but I do when I get in the car or when I get home, and I check it off. Now you would think, now why would you want to do that? It's you, it's your list. Because it, I don't know, I just, it's fun. I make use, good use of my phone. It's an iPhone. I make good use of all those emojis that are, that I, you know, that I can use. And I personalize everything. And it's fun to me. I love doing things like that. So, um, I like to stick with what's on my list, but you know, sometimes, occasionally, there's a few things you want to try that, like, ooh, that's something new, I said I was going to try next time, and if I try it today, then I just grab it, you know, um, but I don't like to take too long, I don't like to rush, and I don't like dilly-dally, just get what you need, be comfortable, not rush, and just get on up out of there. So, um, do I use coupon? No. I don't use coupons. If it's something that says it's on sale, then I just get it. I do not go cutting coupons. Nah, that's not for me. That's too much time consuming. <laughs> but if you do that, that's good for you. Okay, next one. Which of the following do you identify yourself with the most? You are an expensive shopper. You invest in higher quality items. You are a thrifty shopper. You love thrift shopping, great bargains, clearance items. You love the thrill of the hunt. <laughs> well, I can be a variety of shopper. Um, I would classify myself as an expensive shopper. But that doesn't mean that I'm going to be able to get the expensive item. But I do like expensive things. Yes, I do. I like good quality things. But I also like thrifting. I love to go to the thrift store and buy those thrift items. I do. I have not been to a thrift store in a long, long time. And I do believe I'm going to go there soon because I need a desk in my office. Um, I just need a desk. A real real desk I'm using a kind of like a just some some type of stand that's about let me show you how wide it's about this wide with my computer my little my mouse and my keyboard and I'm like taking my mouse and trying to do this and I keep hitting up against things I need I need a table a desk so I'm going to go to the thrift store real soon and see if I can pick up a nice bargain. It's got to look nice. Of course, it's, it's got to be. Now, if I have to bring it home and spray paint it, that's fine. If I like it and it's the right price, I buy it. If, as long as it looks good and sturdy and, you know, I'll change the color if I need to. Um, 
yes, I like clearance. I, I shop in the clearance section. I do that too. Yes, I mean, who wants to who wants to buy expensive things all the time? You want to save. You know, I'm not rich where I can just go get everything I want at every price. Honey, if that was the case, I would. But even if I could, I still would do clearance shopping, go to thrift stores. Hey, Michael Jackson, as rich as he was, he went to thrift stores. Times he loved shopping in thrift stores, so I hear. So if he can do it, <laughs> and with him rich, and if I was rich, I would do it too. So, all right, you, let me see, where am I? Oh, and yes, I do love shopping at Amazon. Yes, Amazon, Timu, TikTok. Ooh, especially TikTok and Timu. Those are my favorite places. Those are my two new favorite uh, online shopping to do. Oh, they got some great bargains. I love bargains. Yes, I do. You can get a beautiful, beautiful ring for a dollar seventy-two. Come on now, and great quality. Whereas you go to a jeweler, you can get pretty much that same style, even though the diamonds at the jewelry store are diamonds. When you get a T moon and those other places, they are cubic zirconia, but they look just like diamonds to me. Beautiful. So it all depends on what you want to do, but I love all of that. Bargaining, yes indeed, honey. Especially if it's something I really love. Great price, there you go. Okay, moving on. Oh, I didn't finish the question. Wait a second, let me go back. Getting back to shopping, you are an investigator, investigator, shopper, no, I am not. You look through many reviews before buying items, no, I don't. <laughs> uh, you are an online shopper, yes, I am. And Amazon is one of my favorite places, yes, just like I said, Timu and TikTok. Okay, I'm done. Which of the following types do you identify with as a shopper? An early bird? Um, I can be an early bird because I do wake up early. So I mostly go shopping in the morning because I wake up early. Now, before I used to wake up early, it would be more like an afternoon shopping, you know, shopper. Okay, are you a window shopper? Um, I haven't done window shopping in years, but I do like it. Yes, I do. I just walk by, look at the beautiful things and say, okay, one day I'm coming back to get you. <laughs> you know, yeah, I do those things. I dream, especially if they're very expensive. And even if they're not, I'll be like, oh yeah, I wanna come back and get that. Yeah, you know? So I'm that type of shopper. Yeah, I am. Waking up early in the morning to beat the crowds. Um, I don't try to beat the crowds. I just know if I'm gonna leave at, let's say nine or 10, I just go ahead and go. I'm not trying to beat anybody per se, not unless it's something special, a special sale, and you wanna get there before everybody, then that's one, yeah, I'm gonna be there when that door opens. <laughs> right, if it says eight o'clock, I'm there right in line, okay? Or right at that door. Yep, that's me. <laughs> All right. This is still part of the question, I think. Are you a social chatter? Chatterbox? No, I'm not. I'm more quiet and reserved. Um, however, I will talk if it, you know if it's something is said to me, or if I see something that I want to mention to somebody, and then it strikes up a conversation. Then I can, but I'm not a I'm not a chatterbox. <laughs> I like that chatterbox. You love engaging with others. Um, I won't say I love it. I'm more of an introvert, to be honest with you. Um, I'll just kind of, I'm quiet, you know. I am. I'm literally quiet. Are you a regular, you're a regular shopper? You're, you're in the stores almost every day? No, I'm not in the stores every day. I don't have that kind of everyday money, okay? <laughs> Let me get another sip of coffee. Mm. Um, I'm in the stores whenever I can. When I have money to go shop, that's why I'm in the stores. Not every day. Ooh, no. Nobody has time for that. Mm -hmm. 
Mm. So good. Okay, we're getting, I'm halfway there. I'm more than halfway there. I think I finished everything. What type of shopper you are. Allie, these are some great questions. I mean, great. You did good. I don't know if you thought of them, but if you didn't, that's okay. But these are great. Okay, last few more. What are two of your wellness goals for spring? Well, I just told you one of them. Um, not just for spring, but starting, since I'm starting this spring, I should have been starting a long time ago. I had, but then I kept getting off, but I'm not getting off this time. Spring is starting my wellness goals. Um, getting this weight off. I'm very serious about it. I've got to get this off and I'm doing it for two reasons. One reason for me, my health. And the other reason for my, my mother. Okay, I don't wanna get into that one, but, uh, but that's pretty much um, one of my wellness goals. Um, and you know, I'll add this one, to drink more water. I do drink a lot of water, but I mean more, just to increase it a little bit. You can't, you can't go wrong by increasing it, right? So those would have to be my two wellness goals for spring, for, for every day, for every season. Okay, next one. What are two of your healthy goals for spring? Seems like that's the same question. What are two of your wellness? I thought wellness and healthy are the same. Goals for spring. Basically what I just said, I'm just gonna tie it in. I mean, I don't know, maybe I'm not answering it right. Wellness. Um, okay, I will add this one to this question work on reducing the amount of sodium in my diet. Okay, there's, for instance, I'll give you an example. Let's say you wanna have a, I don't know, a baked potato. Now, I don't always feel like I need to put seasoning in, in all my food. I can eat it kind of plain. I can, I like to put like um, black pepper, cayenne pepper, um, with garlic powder and, and onion powder. I like to put those type of things in a lot of my foods. It depends on what it is. And, and that's one way of reducing the sodium. You know, I just tell myself I don't need it, you know, and I may want to just put just a tiny bit if I put any butter, because I'm not really, I don't feel like I always got to put butter in my stuff. But if I just want to taste it, just a little taste, you know, a little piece of, this nail, you know, just half a teaspoon, even less than a half a teaspoon, you know, in a baked potato or something. So reducing the amount of sodium, that's pretty much what I can think of. Okay, next one. What is, what is one financial goal? Hmm. One financial goal, I'm just going to say one only, to get our our um, income increased that's a financial goal of, of mine to increase in finances money to get more I'm not gonna go deep into that one but um, yeah that's it to get increase okay next what is your happiest? Well, no, I'm sorry. When is your happiest time? When is your happiest time? When things are going well, <laughs> like everybody else, when things are going well, um, even if things are not going all that well, I guess it's like when I decide to make myself happy. In spite of the things that are going on, I try to make myself happy. I try to keep my faith in God and just know that everything is going to work out and choose to be happy. You know, happiness sometimes can be a choice. 
it just depends on how you think of it. Um, but I'm not gonna lie, having extra income, that makes you happy, that makes me happy. Oh yes, honey, when I have plenty of money, no lack, oh, I'm just like, I'm bubbly, I'm like, <laughs> laughing a lot it's like oh yeah let's go let's go do this let's go do that you know you just feel chipper you know when the family is doing well um both physically both spiritually both mentally especially mentally you know and every, if everything is going well like that that's what makes me feel happy you know um when I'm doing well, when my husband is doing well, my children is doing well, that makes me happy. And when one of us is not, or if there's a problem somewhere, then it's like, ugh, you don't feel too happy, you know. Okay. Next three. What are, no, two, what? No glasses. Are you an organized or disorganized person? Well, I'm gonna say both. I'm gonna say both. Because we're gonna start with organized. I like to be organized and I try my best to be organized in a lot of things. I have limited space where I'm living, so sometimes it's hard to know how to group things together, you know, not have too many items, not to clutter up too much. You know, I try to put things in order. I try to have an order to things. Okay, sometimes it's not easy. But I have, for the most part, I have things in order. Um, but there are some things where they're disorganized and I feel frustrated over that, just frustrated. Like in the garage, you know, my decor. I'm so frustrated with that. I'm like, that's a task. That's a chore that I need to do. I need to get some more of those uh, storage bins and I know I need to go through each and every one of them, make sure every decor piece is wrapped up, put in the right bin and labeled. Spring decor, summer decor, winter, and some of the things are not. They're disorganized and they're just like in there in any kind of way and I'm just like, ah. Sometimes I will, even go on YouTube and look at some organizational videos, people who do those type of videos, just to get some tips and ideas. Cause that's what YouTube is for. I mean, I feel as YouTube is like school. You can learn so much on here. You know, you can just search what you want and videos will pop up. And you know, I learned a few things so far and I'm like, hey, I can use that, that's right. Or well, maybe I can go to Dollar Tree and get this and that and that and organize, you know? So, you know, I'm both. That's basically the answer to the question. Okay, next. If you are a YouTube content creator, why do you create content? <laughs> I can yes, I am a YouTube creator. I create content because I love it. It's my passion. My passion is decorating. I love decorating. It gives me peace. It's calming, it's relaxing, and I wanna share my talent. That's basically why I'm on here. Um, it's fun. I love to share fun, you know, just um, creating different things for you guys and sharing it and getting your input on it. You know, and sometimes a lot of the things I share, you know, are inspiration to others and they, they will tell me. And so when I hear that, that lets me know that, okay, I'm not on here for nothing. I'm on here for a purpose, to inspire people, to encourage people, you know, in different ways. And I've been told that I have. So, you know, I see that YouTube, you know, for some of us, you know, especially the group that I'm in, where we do videos once a month, the Heaven's Pearls, that's like a ministry. And we do share home decor in that video, you know, in those videos. So that's what I'm saying, you know, it's like a ministry. You know, I feel like I'm a part of a ministry, which I am. And we're here to encourage you to 
do better. We're here to motivate you, to inspire you in whatever way that is, whether it's to decorate or to um, get better with your emotions or whatever the case may be, you know. So that's pretty much why I create videos. Because I love it and I want to inspire and encourage somebody else. Okay, so that's pretty much it. All right, now, bonus. Recommend three channels that you enjoy watching. Okay, I'm going to tag number one, Debbie Bubbles. Debbie, you're tagged. Uh, mm -hmm. Creations by Simone. Simone, you're tagged. That's two. And the last person is Angie Fortson. Uh, exclusives. I think that's her channel name. Angie, you're tagged. So that's all, guys. That's all the wonderful questions that uh, I have answered for you. Allie, you are such a doll. You are so wonderful. You're such a wonderful friend. Thank you so much for tagging me. This was wonderful. I enjoyed answering all of the questions. And if you guys want to do, anybody wants to do this tag and I have not tagged you, feel free. Please jump in, you guys. This is a fun activity. I will have all of the questions in my description box so you can go ahead and copy and paste and let me know when you've done the video so I can check it out. Thank you all so much for watching and I would like to invite you, if you are new here, please subscribe to the channel, give this video a big thumbs up by liking it, comment down below and let me know that you're here and I welcome you to the channel. Thank you to all my faithful Jazzy Green family members. Mwah. You guys are wonderful. Thank you so much Mwah. to Allie. You're such a wonderful friend. And I thank you guys so much for watching. You guys have a blessed day. Bye.